so use for pointer and references to base class what is the use of this what is the question main question here question is that why would i set a pointer or reference to the base class to the base class base class pointer to drive class object when i can just use the drive object why not i simply writing something like this cat dot speak method method and similarly suppose we have another object also like doc doc class we can use the doc class object to call doc dot speak method so it look like very easy for us now suppose think about if we are going to inherit 30 odd number of animal type from the animal class then what will happen we are not think about one or two we think about say 30 plus 40 plus type of animal that we are going to inherit from the animal class then what will happen you need to call explicitly to all the speak method using the object of that class so whenever the hierarchical inheritance have very limited number of classes as derived then there will be no problem but when this type of derived classes gradually increasing then it will be difficult job for us to do this thing okay so see the main issue will be here when you wanted write a function that printed a animal's name and sound without using a pointer to the base class okay then what will be the solution we can use a concept called overloaded function so now look at this function here we have two class now we have one cat class and we have one dog class from animal class that we have inherited okay and we are adding the solution what solution we want how can we print how a cat is speaking and how can we print a dog is speaking so for that what solution we think for the time being we are thinking about the solution called overloaded function we are going to write a function called report and we can pass the reference of the cat class and dog class as argument to that function and by which we can access the get name of the animal and also we can access how an animal is speak so same thing we can do for the doc class also we can call the same method called report as a overloaded function and we can pass the doc class reference as argument to that function it's just a kind of uh, we can say that friend function that we know that a friend function can access its private and public data and everything and uh, so this thing we are doing here we are accessing the private sorry public method of the class using a global overloaded function now think about the scenario that i have discussed just few minutes back we are going to inherit few more classes from the animal okay few more not only two suppose 30 40 type of animal that you're going to inherit from the animal class then what will be the solution for you if you if we adopt this approach we need to write report method for animal type 3 we as well as we also need to write report method for animal type 4 similarly we need to write report method for all the animal type that we are inherited from the animal class so i don't think so this is an approachable solution that we can follow suppose that after although somehow we can write all this 30 overloaded function suppose that after few days you are inheriting one more class from the animal so again we need to add whenever we need to inherit a class from animal each and every time we need to add one overloaded function okay so it's a time consuming job <coughs> okay so this is a time consuming job adding this kind of function is not accepted okay because we know 
inheritance helps us to use code reusability but here it is not code reusability it's gradually increasing the size of the code okay and it's almost doing the same job each and every time so it's simply called a waste of time type of coding then however because cat and dog are derived from animal correct cat and dog derived from animal then cat and dog have a animal part fine so what we have discussed there is an animal class and there is a two derived class cat and dog and they are inherited from the animal class and both cat as well as dog have what in their object they have a part animal because both are under the group of animal there is a type of animal here okay so therefore it makes sense that we should be able to do something like this okay because animal class have what if we go back to our previous slides see animal class already written a function called speak so somehow we need to call this speak method from the respective derived class using the base class pointer we need to find a solution for this overall rate function is not the solution okay so what will be the solution here see <coughs> that thing we can also do that we are writing a function called report and we are passing <coughs> animal class reference as argument to that function and then we try to call the speak method which can tell us how a cat is speaking and how a dog is speaking So again, if we try to call the speak method using the animal class reference, then what will happen? It will do the same thing. Again, it's going to call the speak method from the base class, from the animal class. Okay. So our agenda is we can use the reference or pointer of the animal class. Our agenda is that because speak method is redefined by the respective ref classes, we need to call that speak method from the direct class itself not from the base class so then what will be the solution for this the solution for this is called virtual function we are going to write the function inside the base class animal as virtual which function speak method and we are going to use the base class pointer reference to call a function from the derived class from the cat class as well as from the dog class so what will be the solution we are going to see in the next lecture how can we use the features called virtual function to achieve runtime polymorphism by calling a method from the specialized class using the pointer or reference of the base class so this will be our next to it i hope the idea is clear what i want to build here the i want to build what how can we call a base class features using a sorry how can we call a ref class features using a base class pointer or reference by which we can easily manage the thing either without writing 30 plus or n numbers of overloaded function rather writing one function in the base class and we are going to overwrite that function in the respective derived classes. So we are going to see virtual function in detail in the next lecture.